Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. So I'm doing a quick little follow-up to these bloody adapters. Now, I've got these drives which are Pata, right, parallel ATA, but two and a half inch. So I've, I've got this adapter here, which is a uh, Pata to, to SATA. Um, and it fits okay, but it doesn't seem to work in the situation I'm trying it in. I'll try it against some other stuff, but I'll show you the thing I'm trying it with. Let's plug it into this device here. This USB 3 converter. So I plug the, par the parallel port into the, the parallel. It doesn't come up. If I plug the drive into this adapter, into that adapter there, in the SATA port, it doesn't come up. So these drives are not recognised by this adapter at all. It just doesn't show up. Um, my, my disk utility software doesn't even recognise the disk there. So yeah, and that's what it turned on. Right, I have to turn the switch on. That's on the side here. So this doesn't work with these drives. A bit disappointing. Okay, so right, so I went the backup plan. I've got these devices here, these adapters. All right, these are only USB 2, but these have got this 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch parallel ports on the Well, this is purely a parallel port device, so more likely to work. And yes, it does. However, I've come across another problem. I've got two of these. I've got one like a little packet like this, a little cheap packet, and the other one is coming like a proper box with power supply and stuff like that for 3.5 inch drives. Now, the one that was in the packet, I noticed a little problem with this. Now, do you see something with these connectors, the way they sit? You notice that it's slightly wonky, and this one's sticking out a lot, and this one's only sticking out a little bit. We think, oh, it's only a small connector, you know, it's a smaller drive, smaller form factor, so it doesn't need to stick out as much. Okay, well, if I try and plug this drive in, you might notice something. Like, I can't actually plug it in. It goes on to pin just a fraction, and that's it. Not enough to actually make contact. If I look at the other one, which is identical, but came with the, the pack of all the other stuff, do a comparison. See, it sticks out much more. This side's in further, it's all straight. This side sticks out further. And this one plugs into a drive just fine. Going to create pins. There you go. That's fine, nothing wrong with that. So, with this, I can see the drive. So, I know the drive is working with this adapter. So, yeah, just because the, the adapter says it can do it doesn't mean it's going to be compatible with your drive, or maybe it can't do it. I don't know. The SATA side seems to work, but it doesn't work with this adapter. So, I'll just try different options, and they're all fairly cheap things. So, so um, yeah, but this this definitely works with a. I've had a SATA hard drive, like a spinning disk hard drive, connected to this, and that worked fine. So I know that works at least. But yeah, um, these do have SATA on them as well. But you have to use the external power supply to power it because that's just purely the actual data connection. So yeah, just sort of pointing it out. So this we're going to pull this apart. Get the right one, the one which is that one there, which is really bad. We're going to pull this one open. Open. It might break. It might not. I'll have to try and fix it because what I'm going to have to do then, because I need to put a SSD and a power to hard drive connected together onto my computer so I can transfer data across and um, do a clone of the drive. So I do need to have them both working, I think. It may be different on a Mac uh, to compared to a PC. I mean, a PC might behave, but on the Mac it should still show the drives there. Anyway, so we'll try and figure out how to get into this thing. Let's get a spider. It might be just clipped together. But I think I can see some glue mark down here. Where is it? There. It's like some glue. You probably can't see it on camera. Yeah, you just see it shining in that corner there. So, we'll see if we go. It may or may not come apart. Aha, uh -huh, okay. It's looking like it's going to just push apart. Great. That's exactly what I was hoping. And there we go. That's what the inside looks like. Let's try and pop the rest of the cover off. So 
I do wonder why it's not sitting in there right. Maybe it just floats. Maybe this connector's not in the right place. It's a bit weird the way it one fits properly, one doesn't. Because you think that it'd be locked in place by that SATA connector there. That's what dictates where it sits. Is that connector slightly wonky? Is that the problem? Yeah, that connector must be sitting because you see it's at an angle going down, sort of heading that way, like that, exaggerate slightly. So it needs to come over this way, and it's sitting on here. So I think this connector here is not mounted correctly. Let's see if we can see what's going on. I mean, it is through hole as well. So it's a through hole mounting, so I can't see how it can be wrong. That's a bit odd. Um, so I'll put that back through there again. You can see it, you know, it's a close fit on there. But that doesn't want to fit. Um, okay, well, let's look at these connections down the side instead. Get it focused. There we go. So you can see this is very slightly offset downwards, it's very slightly that way. But not much. And the other connector is very slightly... I think actually the other one's in the centre. This, this end here makes it look like it's up that way, up towards the top. But the middle ones look like they're centred and the bottom ones look like they're centred. So it might just be the way the soldering is... Yeah, I think it's just the way the solder blob looks. Look on the side, compare it again. Yeah. This one here is slightly down. So maybe that's part of the problem. So what I think we need to do then is just trim the edge of this case. So it's not interfering with that connector. Trim. Let's have a look. See that changing there. See, it's definitely, now I can push it over, I can actually push it over this way, but it's still offset to one side. So, let's get that slightly, I think I'm a little bit too close. So, I mean, I think it's just wrong. <laughs> it's interesting. The board seems to be offset, if you look at the inside here as well, I don't know, maybe is it offset to like to one side? Maybe it is. I think the ball is slightly offset as well, so that connector must be slightly wonky. Let's look at it this way. It's flat on the board. I can't actually explain why it doesn't fit properly. It should, as long as they're designed differently. Right. So what I think I'm going to have to do then is just like a simple fix. Is I'll just get in here and I'll cut this. I'll slot this up a bit more up here. I'll just make these slots here a bit bigger, so I can move the thing over sideways. So I'll just get it and shift it sideways. So if I cut, if I slot this side here, the whole thing will shift over sideways in the case, and that should be good enough. And I could probably just put a drop of glue on it or something to hold it straight. And that'll be that. But yeah, it's just amazing that it looks like it's assembled correctly, apart from that very slight downwards offset on this piece. But that shouldn't really do it. That's odd. I mean, let's have a look at this one. Why is this one working and the other one doesn't? What's different about these? They're not the same board. How about that? They are different. That's why one works and one doesn't. Interesting. I've got the original number on them. Let's see if I can find a number on them. I'll be right back. Well, they've got the same control chip, exactly the same chip. And the circuitry is. I think functionally the same, they've just got different layouts. 
Um, I mean, this has just got the crystal on this side. And here they've swapped a few of the discrete components around and put the regulator on this side. Um, this one here says version 1.4 over here. 2010 and this one as far as version numbers go doesn't have much it's just got a little bit of information no is that it's just 2015 maybe it doesn't have version number so it looks like it's a copy you know someone's copied the other one but yeah I mean the cases are let's have a look let's look at the cases in more detail Cases are different. So yes, one is a copy of the other. See that? Cases inside are different. Hmm, interesting, eh? So, yes. One's a clone, one is a real. Which is the right one? Hmm, probably one which fit. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you found it interesting. Subscribe, click the bell icon, that's the usual stuff. I'm going to try and figure out which bits went to which one. Yeah. So I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos, so if you haven't seen my previous stuff, then make sure you go and look. I've got hundreds of them, like 644 videos I've done so far. So go and check them out. I've seen a variety there. Go back and look at the back catalogue. Pages and pages of them. Pages of playlists as well. All these things too. Loads of them. Go and check them out. Make sure you go and watch more stuff. Watch more. Watch more. Watch more.